Welcome to the I-14 Sports Report, heard every Thursday night live on KNCT-FM 91.3. Public Radio for Central Texas Pledge Drive in its final days really needs your help. If you support what I do, you support KNCT-FM. I am part of their family, and they need the support right now. So if you can, go to knct.org and make a pledge of support. Uh, this public radio station is so important to the Central Texas area, and we brought you KISD football for so many years, and hopefully we'll be back with it soon, but we need your support in order to do so. Uh, we can't bring you back on the radio with the football until we get the money we need at the radio station. KNCT.org. Please go and pledge your support. You can also hear this program, the I-14 Sports Report, on various podcast platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of them are there. You can get on threads also. Uh, K- MyKNCT.com is, has all the podcast blogs and all the weather forecasts that you want uh, right there at uh, your fingertips. That's another service that they give you. So please become a member of KNCT-FM. Once again, KNCT.org. And of course, go to I-14 Sports, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and follow and keep up with everything we're doing. Hey, uh, Tuesday night, we were out at from the sidelines uh, from Raising Canes and Colleen. Thank you to Chris and all his staff. Uh, we had Coach Sadler from Colleen High and Coach Foreman from Shoemaker. Of course, they battled Friday night for the final playoff spot and a great success uh, of a show and a fundraiser for uh, Shoemaker at the same time. Thanks, guys, for coming out. It's a great show. You can go back and watch it. It's stored on Facebook right now, and we'll be there uh, forever for you to watch. Military Appreciation Night, final Friday night, uh, Thursday night game, I should say, is tonight's game against Copper's Cove. So if you're a retired person, active duty, um, VA, DAV, you get in free to the ball game tonight. Uh, to watch Harker Heights take Copper's Cove on at Leo Buckley Stadium. Let's get right into the stats here and the standings in the district. In 4-5A, it's uh, Red Oak 8-0, and Midlothian 7-1, and Lake Belton 7-2, and Shoemaker and Colleen at 5-3. and They're playing for that final playoff spot because Granberry is at 3-5, and Ellison and Cleaver are two and six, and Waco is one and seven. So those bottom uh, four teams aren't going to have a chance. It's between Colleen and Shoemaker. So the Friday night's game is going to be a big one, folks. Uh, but uh, Red Oak looks like they're going to go on to win the district uh, anyway. So last week's games, it was Colleen thirty-seven, Red Oak fifty-six, Midlothian forty-nine, Belt Lake Belton. 28, um, Ellison 34, Granberry 18, Shoemaker 49, Cleveland 7 games this week. As I said, Ellison at Midlothian, Shoemaker at Colleen, Red Oak at Granberry, and Waco at Cleveland with a leg belt and having the uh, week off. Okay, let's move on to the offense and defensive stats. Shoemaker leading the rushing offense, uh, Colleen down in the Seventh spot, uh, Ellison in the eighth passing offense. Colleen number one, uh, Shoemaker number four, and down at seven is Ellison. Total offense, Shoemaker and Colleen right up top. Ellison down towards the bottom on rushing the defense. Uh, Red Oak up top, uh, followed by Shoemaker um, on rushing defense, and Colleen isn't too far away. Uh, they're down towards the bottom, in fact. Uh, passing defense, though, Colleen's a shoemaker at number three and four in the district. Total defense, shoemaker up top. And down uh, towards the bottom is the Colleen kangaroo total defense. So we're going to see a heck of a ball game. I'm telling you, one way or the other on uh, uh, Friday night at Leo Buckley. Uh, Roderick Norman leading passer for the district for the Colleen kangaroos. 23 touchdowns, 6 interceptions for 2,366 yards so far on the year. Malachi Jerome having a good year. uh, Has 7 touchdowns and uh, 2 interceptions. 1,100 yards passing. 
and uh, Sidney Holland and Xavier Dormis for the Ellison Eagles, uh, both uh, right down in the top ten also. Uh, rushing leaders for the district, uh, Gerard Hicks and Carde Hicks uh, for Shoemaker and Ellison, uh, Colleen respectively there, are the leading rushers. Also, Roddy Norman in the top ten in rushing in the district. In 12-6A, uh, district standings, Fugerville Weiss 4-0, Midway 4-1, Heights 3-1, Hutto 2-2, Bryan is at 2-2, Coppers Cove 0-4, and Temple is 0-5. Last week scored Midway 49, Bryan 21. It was Heights 35, Temple 21. And Huddle defeated Coppers Cove 38-33. This week's games, of course, tonight, like I said, Cove is at Heights. We'll have that coverage for you on I-14 Sports. Uh, Bryan is at Hutto, and Weiss is at Midway. So uh, the Heights coming down to the end here. Would love to get that win. Uh, against Coppers Cove tonight to solidify that third spot in the playoffs. Uh, good luck to them. Uh, leading the offense rushing-wise, uh, Harker Heights is down in the uh, uh, fourth, fifth position. Uh, passing offense, so the number three passing offense. Overall, number three uh, total offense. Harker Heights tonight have the best rushing defense in the district of the Knights and one of the best passing defense uh, they have the best total defense in the district uh, over at Harker Heights. So Dylan Plake having a great year over there. Has um, 2,074 yards passing, I believe. Yeah, 20 touchdowns, 10 interceptions for Dylan Plake. Also, uh, um, some other guys in the area having some good years, including Will Hammond over to Hutto. Rushing leaders, you check those out. You're going to see... Zorian Evans having a great year uh, for the Harker Heights Knights. Uh, 577 on the ground, uh, and he has two touchdowns for the Harker Heights Knights. And moving on to what we're going to talk about uh, next here, and that will be volleyball. Playoff info is coming up real quick. Uh, we'll know something here in the next day or two, so I'll get that out to you. Keep an eye on all the social media. Uh, we have I-14 football coverage schedule. Of course, tonight I'll be out at Heights and the Coppers Cove game, bringing you updates throughout the nights, pictures, videos, interviews, all that stuff coming your way. Uh, on uh, Friday night, uh, Chaparral taking on Belton. We'll be bringing you all of that information also uh, throughout the night here on I-14 Sports, as well as Ellison, who travels to Midlothian uh, to... Uh, take on the Panthers there. We'll have the score updates for you there. Hey, that Chaparral built a game. Chaparral wins that game. They're going to get in the playoffs. They still got a shot at getting the playoffs and we'll know more about them next week. Uh, and Keep an eye on us. Like I said, I'll keep you up to date. And of course the big game Friday night for that final playoff spot is Shoemaker at Colleen. Going to be a big one at Leo Buckley. I'll be there all night bringing the updates throughout the night. Score updates pictures, videos, interviews, and a lot more. Um, and hey, uh, one more thing before I get out of here. I uh, want to say congratulations to Mr. Andy Wilson. Been a trainer for 34 years for KISD. He is going to be retiring. Going to get on that Harley and ride off into the sunset. Uh, congratulations, Andy. It's been great working with you, working uh, around you, uh, just being your friend. And uh, hopefully we'll be continuing that in the future. Uh, no, I don't want to ride with you on your Harley. Thank you anyway. But if you see Andy Williams say, uh, excuse me, Andy Williams say, wow. Anyway, but if you see Andy Wilson say, congratulations. All right. Thanks for listening to the show. It's been a blast, as you can tell. I'll be back next week with more news here on the I-14 Sports Network. Thanks for watching, listening, and all that you do. Support KNCT at KNCT.org, please. And, uh, as always, take care of yourself and take care of each other. You are watching I-14 Sports Network.